everyone, and thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Mademoiselle Lena, and you can find me online at www.conjurenits.com. Today we are doing the monthly Terrascope for Aries for March 2021. We are going to be using the CBD Tarot de Marseille by Yoha Bendo. So, without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, Spirit, what do you have for Aries for March, Spirit? Aries for March. Any messages for Aries, Spirit? Any messages for Aries? I would like to take this time to say thank you for viewing my video today. If you haven't already done so, go ahead and smash that like button hit subscribe, and click the little bell so you'll be notified of when I upload new videos or go live. And also, if you feel like this video would benefit others, please feel free to share it. Okay, what do you have for Aries? What do you have for Aries? Aries for March. Aries for March. All right. Everybody take a deep breath. <sighs> Exhale. All right. So, what is the challenge for March for Aries? Okay, let's see what we got here. Ooh, we have the night. Hmm. Okay. So the challenge for this month is the Knight of Cups. This is, you know, that yeah, because the Knight of Cups is about devotion. It's emotional giving, openness and sincerity. It's giving up personal goals in order to serve something or someone that you care for. Um, hmm. You know, this image of a romantic night, it may be authentic, but it may also be kind of a self-delusion. It's like it's devotion without hidden motives, open expression of emotions, but um, they may only be at a shadow level. Hmm. A romantic and ideal view of reality motivates you. Perhaps, hmm, perhaps not in a productive direction. Because you see here, he, he's, he's not moving forward, he's moving backwards. So I do feel like, you know, you're going to have some challenges Dealing, you know, emotional challenges. Dealing maybe with love. Um, a lot of us deal with love. We putting our priorities in order, you know, of something that we're devoted to. Are we really making that person or that thing a priority in our life? It's been kind of a struggle. And sometimes we, we slide backwards on this. Okay, so that's going to be a real challenge for us this month. 
Now card number two is positive energies that we can embrace. All right. Oh, this is good. This is good. We have the page of coins here. The page of coins, as you can see, definitely has his eye right on the money. And I say it his, it, it, you know, gender doesn't matter here. His, hers, whatever. The main thing is this person has their eye on their money, and that's positive. Um, this is something that you can embrace this month. Keep your eye on your money. This is a practical attitude. Your feet are on the ground. But... Um, a vision which is limited to existing structures and what is already proving its worth. It's like even in the present situation, many advantages and possibilities may be missed because of insufficient attention. You're you're focused on one thing, and but they're saying that this is what you need to embrace this month is make sure that you get your priorities in order. You know. Kind of work on the backsliding bit. Focus on one thing and, and make that your goal and really, really work on that this month. Hmm. Okay. Card number three is negative energies that we need to negotiate. Ah, the three of wands. Hmm. Now, the three of wands is about direction. And it's almost like, well, we do see going backwards here a little bit, trying to get priorities in order, focusing on one thing and, you know, really working on that goal. Here you're going in this direction, here you're going in this direction, here you're going in this direction. Um, you really need to work on not being so scattered. I, I do know that so many of us have so much on our plates these days, and it is hard to focus. It is hard to stick with one thing and make up your mind which direction that you're going to go in and stick with that. And, you know, deal with what's on your plate first. Eat all your veggies, then add another veggie. Don't just keep piling on on and on and on because it gets to be too much and it's overwhelming. So let's keep going. What do we need to make time for? Okay, and we have the Eight of Wands. Now the Eight of Wands is about regulation. It's about making rules, um, sticking to a, a certain path, um, doing things a certain way. It's a controlled environment in which one can only go in certain predefined ways. See, you can go this way or you can go this way, but it's locked down. You see how it's interwoven here? It's locked down. You need to choose which way to go. This goes back to what this is saying up here. You, you really need to choose a direction, focus on one thing, you, you know, whatever it is that you decide that you've made your priority. You need to make time to focus on this thing. Once you've determined your direction and set your goals, stay on that path. Stay on that path and stay within those guidelines and do what you're supposed to do. I know exactly what this message is saying to me, but this is not about me. This is about you, you beautiful little rams. Okay, so let's keep going here. Card number five, what opportunity should I seize this month? Ah, and we have the Page of Cups. Okay, so the Page of Cups, as you can see, he's got this beautiful gold cup here. Um, I sometimes feel like this may be a hat, but, but in this case, I really feel like it's a lid that goes on the cup, and he's, he's got the lid off of the cup here. And he's looking at the cup. And you see he's looking at the cup. But he's kind of looking only on the surface here. So we really need to seize the opportunity of seeing the bigger picture. Of taking the time to look deeper into a situation. Not just glancing on the surface so much. 
All right, so let's do our summary here. We need to get our priorities in order, you know, really focus on what we're going to do, stop spreading ourselves so thin, get on track, get on track, and take a deeper look at things. You know, build a deeper bond, have a, a deeper conviction, because you're you sometimes have a habit of, of slipping backwards. Hmm. Yeah. Gonna have some challenges this month. But this is really I feel like you know how they say getting your house in order? I really feel like this is the primary message for, for you guys this month is get your house in order. You've got a lot going on. You need to prioritize. What's the most important thing that you need to take care of now? Make that a priority. Focus on that. Get yourself on track. Look deeper into it. Focus on it more. All right. I hope that this reading has helped you and will help lead you and guide you throughout the month of March. If you would like a more in-depth and detailed reading, please go over to my website at www.conjurenits.com. And like I was saying earlier, be sure to share this video with your friends. Talk to you guys soon. Love you bunches.